Hello and welcome back to the channel and apologies this video is late but I've been at work all day um, but here it is this is this week's Falls Long Guide called Field Trip which wants you to start off by owning and driving the 2013 Formula Drift number 777 Chevrolet Corvette to complete the first challenge. Now this is the car in question. Uh, you can purchase it as part of the Formula Drift Pack. You can pretty much pick it up in the auction house or the auto show. It's up to you. Now, I haven't done a tune for this one because I don't think it actually needs tuning. It's a perfectly good drift car on its own to complete the challenges with. Now, the first challenge here just wants you to earn six stars at Drift Zones, which is super easy. So to do this, I recommend heading over to the Gyro and Corvado Drift Zone uh, at the main Horizon Festival. Three stars on here is only 30,000 points. So all you really need to do is two runs of three stars or three runs of two stars. It doesn't really matter. It's a really short Drift Zone, which means that you'll be able to complete this challenge very quickly. It shouldn't take you too long at all. As you saw there, there was just three stars. I fluffed the other one um, and only got two stars, so I had to do it again. But either way, still an easy challenge. Didn't take me more than a minute and a half or so. Ignore the fact that it says it's the incorrect car for the seasonal objective. That's for the PR stunt objective, not for the Forzathon one. So that is the first challenge complete. Now the next one wants you to earn 10 ultimate drift or e-drift skills which again is super easy and I didn't actually go anywhere else I hung around the same area because there is not lots of nice sort of loops in this area it's pretty much a racetrack so I hung around one particular area as you can see here just basically hitting the same bend over and over getting the ultimate drift skill. Now the difference between a normal drift and an e-drift is literally the use of a handbrake so if you're going to use your handbrake you'll end up getting the, the e-drift skills but with this car because it's set up for drifting you don't actually need to do that either way again it was just a bit lengthier than the first challenge but took no more than five minutes again quite an easy one now the last one here just wants you to earn a hundred thousand points at a drift zone within two minutes so you can smash this out on just one drift zone so I headed over to the Los Campos drift zone three stars on here is 120,000 points but you don't need to worry about getting three stars just need to worry about getting a hundred thousand points now this drift zone will probably take you about a minute or so, so you don't have to really worry about the time aspect of the challenge. Um, the reason I chose this one is instead of doing a smaller one multiple times, you can just get the 100,000 points on any decent length drift run. Now I'm not talking the massive one up in the hills that will take you about 3-4 minutes to complete, just anyone that has a target score of around 100,000 points that you'll easily be able to smash. So as you can see here, already heading up to the 100,000 uh, score mark and not even halfway complete and it's barely taken 30 seconds to get this far so what you can do here if you're worried about time is just race to the end or you can continue going to try and beat your personal best either way it's a super easy challenge and like i said if you pick the right drift zone such as this one you don't actually have to worry about the time aspect of it anyway folks i hope this video did help you out and again apologies that it is late I didn't manage to pre-record it yesterday as the information wasn't available, um, so I've had to do it after coming home from work. But anyway, that is this week's Falls Along Guide. If you're struggling with anything or any other challenge in this week's festival playlist, then please do let me know down below in the comments and I will be very sure to help you guys out. If you're new to the channel and it did help, I'd very much appreciate it if you could subscribe and hitting that like button massively helps me out as well. But apart from that, folks, I want to wish you all the best. Make sure you stay safe and take care.